is an author. Her book, Beyond the Curry with Barty, just hit stores. She joins us with one of her favorite homestyle recipes. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Nice. So let's get right to it. What are you going to cook up for us today? Today we are going uh, to cook garbanzo beans with the spinach. Okay. So we're going to start with the oil. Mm -hmm. A little olive oil. Less olive oil. Sprinkle Any oil, it. whatever you like. You, yeah, know, you don't okay. have to have oil oil. Whatever is good for your sure, health, you can that's use healthy. that one. Mm -hmm. And then you can put the garlic. A lot of spices. Garlic, yes. Then it's cumin. Then you sauteed all the spices in here and give you freshness to the spice. And it just gives a lot of flavor to it. A lot it, I of imagine. flavor, a lot of flavor. Beautiful flavor to that. And then you can put the spinach. And while you're doing that, where are you in Wauwatosa? We are in right across the Mayfair Mall. Oh, by the Mayfair Mall by there? By the Mayfair okay. Mall. Across on North the street? Avenue. On North Avenue, right across the street. On North, on North across Avenue. Across the street. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, once they get cooked, you can put the garbanzo beans, which one is a little bit mashed, so it's mm -hmm. easier to cook. And then you can use the mashed potato in there. That's yeah. our secret agent. Yeah. Then you can put a little bit salt. Yeah, those mashed potatoes add a little substance to it. Yes, it gets thickness. And we're going to use the salt. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And what is that? Red pepper powder. Oh, okay. You can use as much as you want, mm -hmm. uh, more or less, according to your taste. Ooh, and yeah. And then mix everything together. Smelling it now. Good. Now you can put the, this is give you color, tomato paste. You a beautiful red color to the curry. Wow. And really does, yeah. Lemon juice. This gives you wonderful color here. And why lemon juice? Lemon juice gives you a really nice color to, uh, you know, For the, the curry. The look of it, okay. The curry looks so beautiful. All right. And the green color looks just the green. And while that's going there, if you're uh, finished there, I just want to mention what we have here before we wrap up some of the, along with the rice and cucumber treats here. What are yeah. these uh, sweets over here? These, these really are caught my eye. These are laddus. This is made of the ground flour. Uh -huh. And it's very tasty and very beautiful. And these are the jalebi. They're made of all-purpose flour and okay. the sugar. And this is really sweet. It's sweet. This yeah. is sweet. This old section so we have in the book, we have a nine different sections. So one is okay. appetizer to uh, pickle. Everything you can get here in this book. Okay. And these are the bread, all three mm -hmm. different varieties of the bread. Mm -hmm. These are cucumber raita. And these are the chevron rice. These are the pickles and the chutneys. Everything is in the book. You can easily find. This is yeah. the saffron. People think the saffron is very expensive. Really? But no, you, it's not. Because in this rice, you make four cup of rice. You just mm -hmm. use one pinch, mm -hmm. like one eighth it's teaspoon. So it goes a long way. Okay. It's go a long way. One there you small go. thing, it's go a long way. And this is the masala dabba, which one called spice box. Okay. They yeah. have a 10 Quite different spices. Quite a variety spice. there. Yeah, 10 different spices you can easily fit in there. Okay. So once you have the spice, it's easy to cook. Well, Barty, thank you very much for joining us, and happy holidays, and thanks for sharing your recipe here with us. We appreciate it. Namaste. Just, thank you. Let's go to real Milwaukee now with the rest of the crew. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Sean. Hey, Sean, do you know where St. Nick is?